Game 36, the trophy semi-final between Russia and Australia. Is your match referee for this Challenge Trophy semi-final. There is that man you're talking about, Vladimir Ostrushko. Hasn't played much this series. They're a completely different team with him in it. And a big task here in front of the Kenyans to try and get to a trophy match here at the Hong Kong Sevens later on on finals day here at the Hong Kong Stadium. And Kenya through Samuel Oliet goes to the far side. It's into the hands of Dennis Ombachi. He thunders towards the Russian line. Really good start for Kenya this. Hot on attack. Oliet. Here's a Monday. And Monday he tries to link up with Ondiambo. Frank Wanyama joins in the fun. They've got the penalty. They go quickly. A Monday. Andrew Amonde just caught in the tackle and coming through there was Sozanov. Well, this is going to hurt Russia, Rupert, straight away. The man in the bin because of the pressure that Kenya have been applying on them. They've just buckled and without even a minute passing. They're down to six. So here come Kenya. Hot on attack and bursting through is Billy Odiambo. And Kenya, seven on six, hit the lead. Well, Roof, it's a smashing line from Odiambo, but some pretty shoddy defence from Russia here. You can see the number 12 in shot there, Davidov, over chasing and nobody covering on the inside. And as a result, Odiambo screaming over the line. Seven pointer for Kenya. And Samuel Oliech adds the extras, so. A very composed start here. Still a minute left on the sin bin, so Kenya will be wanting to. Make the most of this one man advantage they have. Russia had the ball, and they're going to try and hold on to it and deny Kenya more try scoring opportunities. Getting pushed back towards their own try line. You often see this when the team's down to six men. Here's a Sturusko. He avoids running out of the field of play, gives it to Filatov. Lazarenko links up with Sturusko once more, gets the big. Right hand fend going. Lazarenko sees a bit of space down the right hand side, but getting back was Dennis Ombachi. Strusko decides to kick this time and running onto this one is Alexi Kapalin. It's into the hands of Kapalin. That's a great cover tackle from the Kenyan skipper Andrew Amonde, and he's turned it over as well. Textbook from the Kenyan captain, and they are away to the races Frank Wanyama that's a good covering tackle from Davidov he pops the ball up champagne from Kenya in front of the south stand it's Brian Tanga it all came from the cover tackle and turnover from Andrew Amonde and Tanga finished it off what a hat tip to Kenya Look at the number eight there, scouring all over Monday, leading from the front as, the, as all captains do. Great strength. And what about this for vintage sevens? Screeching down the wing, hitting the brakes, looking for offload. It's all about the support line runners, all working for each other. And as a result, Brian Tang is on the end to profit for the fabulously well worked try from Kenya. So, 12 points the Simbin has cost Russia so far. It's that conversion drifts wide. They're back to the full complement now, uh, Russia, but damage done. Just under three minutes left in this trophy semi final. Cracking finish with the Scotland win earlier on.
to get through to the final. The winner of this game will go through to play the Scots. Going back to Mbacha here on this left-hand side. So dangerous in the air, and he wins it again for them. Outstanding work from him. More possession for the Kenyans. Here they come. Full of life in this game. Here's Amonde with the offload, Amonde. Odiambo back inside. Over the line. What strength from Frank Wanyama. His teammates lift him off the ground. That was brutal from the man whose nickname is Animal. Well, the animal, Frank Wanyama, teaching this Russian side a lesson in power rugby. Wanyama there says, whichever way you want to, Wanyama is over the line, goes forward, goes backwards, and scores the try. What a well-taken try. What a finish. Seventeen nil, Kenya lead Russia. Couldn't have hoped for a better start than this. That conversion drifts wide, but three tries to the good. Known for their strength, the power game in force here for the African side. Here's another look at it. Look at that! Just hop, skip, jumping backwards, whatever way. I'm going the try line. Can you set up again? This kick to Mbachi. Going left, short and high. He's so dangerous. Can they win it back again? Ostrusko climbs highest, but referees knocked. Seen a knock on. And so Russia will set a scrum. It's a much needed possession for them. All they've done in this Holding game is ball, tackle so far. Holding to the ball is in. Yeah, true. Kenya was so close to winning that back again. Instead of pushing it to the left, they went straight down the middle. Nelson Lines. Oyo on there, just couldn't quite bat it Set. backwards, and it went forward off his hand. So, 15 seconds to go in this first half. Down 17-0. No. Russia going to hope to pick up some points here before the break. They've got a penalty. I'm not sure on that call there, Rupert. For me, Ostrusko has his hands all over the ball. He's holding it. Yes. At that point, Kenya can come in and blast through. They'll take it, though. Ostrusko just asking the referee, making sure under the new regulations they can take the line out if they kick the touch. Time's in off, is off the clock, but they will have the throw to the line out as well. Yeah, that rule, Rupert. If you kick straight into touch from a penalty, not the end of the game. So, chance for them here, Russia, to try and. Short one up on the scoreboard before the end of the first half. 25 metres out. Russia just managed to bring that down under huge pressure there from Frank Wanyama again. And look what he's done. He's one possession back for his side. So can Kenya pick up a fourth try perhaps before half time here? They're going to have to go a long way to do it, but they're going to have another crack at 17 nil up. Time up off the clock. Filatov throws the Kenyan ball carrier back into his own 22 metre area. And they've won a penalty. You can't finish on a penalty either, so another chance for Kenya. But this time they're happy enough to kick the ball into touch. And they'll call it time for this first half. It's been all Kenya absolutely dominant in the opening seven minutes. HSBC World 7 Series and be a title contender like they were last year in Singapore where they went on to win. That is an element they need to add to their game, that consistency in their performance. Dimitri Sukin sends it high. It's come down on the Kenyan side once again. Great work at the kickoff there from Andrew Amonde and they burst clear again here. Have Kenya in an important tackle from Lazarenko. One. And they've won the ball back. Well played, Russia. Filatov across the Kapalan. Davidov burst through the middle here. Saw an opening, needed no further invitation. Goes the handoff. That's a good tackle in the end from the cover defence, and Kenya have it now. 
<laughs> I thought Davidov was pretty much going to drag the number five. He must roll. Bush and Wale all the way over the line with him there. Just fending so strong. Sees the white line, one fend, two fend, three fend, then decides, well, all right, I'll just grab your shirt and drag you with me. Gets pulled down in the end. Look at the facial expressions there. Desperate to get to the line. But fantastic defence. Being From chased Bush. by a lion. <laughs> get off me, get off me. Yep, send them on. It's probably the aerodynamics with that. Wade Dooley-esque band he's got around the top there, hasn't he? Across his ears, just slowed him down ever so slightly there, Davidov. Thank you. Wade Dooley's now a sighting commissioner, if you can believe it. <laughs> In European rugby. Hello if you're watching. Can you bring it down at the lineup? No, they don't. It's well picked up from Lazarenko. It's the second time that he's nicked the ball off Kenya. And here goes the chip and chase, Lazarenko. He's been very impressive for Russia, but look at the work rate from Andrew Amonde once again, the captain. Setting the example for his players, not for the first time in this match. He saved the try there. They lead 17-0. They'll play out from their own line. A bit of space now to stretch the legs. And they are away once more. It's Dennis Ombachi who will run in another one. And Kenya are on their way to the final of the Challenge Trophy. Really well done from Kenya here. Ombachi on the end of some absolutely fabulous work in the middle of the park their own 22 they win the turnover shift it back to the right hand side and Umbachi strides out to put the nail in the Russian coffin here Oliech with the extra two sends it out to 24 points to nil Subs coming on for both teams, plenty of changes. What's it like, Ollie? this part of the tournament, deep into finals day of a three-day event? What sort of toll does it physically oh, take on the body? Uh, mentally, physically, you're exhausted, but the moment that you run out into the middle of this stadium and you just hear the noise, you feel the energy, it just lifts you. And you never, ever get bored of this. Not, it's the greatest accolade that a, a player can have to play in front of this crowd and Kenya relishing every moment of it at the moment. You might have heard a big cheer go up a little earlier on. That was the announcement that the South Stand is full once again. They'll be queuing up for hours to try and get in there. One in, one out is the policy. From here on in, here's Ostrushko. He runs one out for Russia, sets up a ruck. The Russians would like to finish their tournament on a high with some points. 24-0 down here against Kenya. Russia, of course, fighting for survival on the Sevens World Series. They were six points ahead of Japan, who are in the relegation spot as it stands. So every point counts for Russia as well. So they will fight to the end in every game they play on this series. And they'll go quickly with this decision. No, 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 no. Well, Babayev's going to get called back here. He's unlucky there, Baba. Yeah, for me, Jordan Wade just needs to let that play. A stickler for the rules on the mark, but he's not far. Let's just get this game flowing. Russia, surefire try, just denied to them there. Gives Kenya a chance to reset their defence. Baba will have another go at it. He sends it across to Filatov. Take a release. He's been best player on ground for Russia, but take a release. Knees onto ground. Knee went to ground, they had to let go there, did the Kenyans, and they didn't, so Thomas, Russia please. get the penalty. So hard as a defender there to know, you know split-second decisions, and trying to desperately wrestle for the ball, grapple to get it back, unlucky. 
No, 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 no. Bucky, Bucky. The mark's there, the mark's there. Bucky. Tom on, please. 90 seconds to go in this trophy semi final. Here's Ostrushko to Davidov. Ostrushko again. Look at the power of the Take man. Release. Wall of green coming at them at the moment. Russia just need to be patient and disciplined. And they force the poor pass and they pop it up. Can they find a way over the whitewash? No, they can't. It's a knock on from Russians. And as you said, Ollie. It comes from line speed and aggressive defence from Kenya. Yeah, ferocious from Kenya. And Bondarev so close just to making that offload. The number two busts through. Looks as though he can make the offload. It just spills out his hands Binds. forward. Desperate for Russia, but Kenya can Six. Kenya launch one final attack in the final minute here? Crowd would love to see it. Ball spews out of the back of that scrum. They're going to have to go the distance if they are to score another try here, Kenya. But Astrushko is having none of it. Taken back by He's the last person you want a hospital ball given to you at that point. He's like, thank God I'm still alive. Because there's that huge man, Ostrusko, the Russian tanker, comes steaming into him. It's brilliant defence there. The pass from the number 12 tanker. I'm not sure. Olietch is going to be putting him on the Christmas list this year for that one. Coach. So a chance for Russia here. They've got a scrum five metres out. Backline spread out to the left. Babayev. Ostrushko. Vladimir Ostrushko. He'd love to get over the line. The big Russian captain. There's the final hooter. Here comes Davidov. He gets the handoff going, but he's wrapped up. By Brian Tunga bursting through. Babayev that time. Across they come. Can they find the try scoring opportunity on the far side? Yes, they can. Alexei Kapalin goes over, gets a tap on the head from Gostyazev. Well done to Russia. A bright way to finish this match, but. It's going to be too little and too late. Well, Russia get the rewards for their patience. Then Nelson Noyo, the number nine from Kenya, flies out the line. If you're going to fly, you've got to get man and ball. He doesn't, and as a result, the number five gets a consolation. Kaplan for his team as, as Russia bow out. Yeah, it's been an impressive performance from Kenya. They will go through to the challenge trophy final later today to play Scotland so a chance for Kenya to pick up some silverware and everyone wants to come to Hong Kong and go home with some sort of prize and they'll have a chance to do that a fantastic first half has set them up for a big 24-5 win over Russia we'll see you for the trophy final a bit later on